Hi guys, it's me, Professor D, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. On this video, we're going to be going over male reproductive and genital problems. I'm going to be going over the difference between hydrocele, uh, spermatocele, uh, varicocele, and testicular torsion. Um, I have a pretty bad cold, so I'm going to sound nasal, so I apologize in advance. Before we get started, as always, I'm going to ask you to please support me and support this channel by liking this video. You're going to love it, so go ahead and give it a thumbs up now so you don't forget. Subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so already, and don't forget, guys, I'm now offering Next Generation and Clex reviews. You can reserve your spot right now by going to my website, nexusnursinginstitute.com. While you're there, you can take a look at my calendar and see what I have available for one-on-one -on -one tutoring because I am offering one-on-one -on -one tutoring. However, my uh, slots book very, very quickly. So if you see something open, go ahead and grab it because if you come back, it's not going to be there. And lastly, while you're there, be sure to check out the audio lessons that I have available. So without any further ado, guys, let's get started. We're going to start with um, the hydrocele. Now, take a look at what it says. So hydrocele, what is it? It's a fluid-filled mass that um, we'll see in the scrotum. So in the scrotum is fluid filled and you're going to see swelling. Diagnosis is done by uh, shining a flashlight on the scrotum. And what you'll see is transillumination. I put a star next to that. Why? Because if you're in a nursing program and you're studying this, you need to know this. You most likely you're going to see this on the test. You need to know that. That is how, how diagnosis is done by transillumination. No treatments indicated unless that swelling becomes large and uncomfortable for them. And in that case, they're going to have to have surgery and you know, repair of the hydrocele. Now, this is important. Look at what it says right here. Hydrocele repair is avoided in men who have not started their family or they seek to add to their family as a re uh, repair can contribute to infertility. Think about where this repair is being done, okay? Patients got this mass swelling in the scrotum. Well, where's the sperm being held? So it's very high chance that the patient can be infertile. So this type of surgery is avoided in those who want to have children, all right? Spermatocele, spermatocele, that's a firm uh, sperm-containing cyst of the epididymis. I'm so pronouncing that wrong. Epididymitis, no, epididymis. You see the word, guys, you know what I mean, right, okay? So anyway, this also can be um, visible with transillumination. That's when you go ahead and um, you shine that flashlight through the scrotum. It can become large, tense, and painful. Again, repair for this, guys, because here's the difference with this. When it comes to hydrocele, that's where that scrotum is filled with um, fluid and there's swelling. But the spermatocele, hence spermat, spermatocele, that's where um, the epi epididymis is firm because... Um, of all of that sperm that actually turns turns into a cyst. So it's hard and painful. This again, this can be repaired through surgery, but it's avoided in any male that has not started their family yet, or they want to have more children. Same. Last varicocele. Let me scroll down for you. Uh, varicocele, that's dilation of the veins that drain the testes. And so with this one, I should put a star next to it, but make sure you know it. Let me go ahead and put the star now so I don't forget because this is a famous question. All right. So with the varicocele, um, the scrotum can feel warm-like. And what you're feeling, guys, is the dilation of those veins. So it can feel warm-like. Warm I can't speak worm, worm-like when palpated. And again, that feeling, that worm-like feeling is just the dilation of those um, veins. So whenever, if you study for this and you see worm-like feeling, you need to be thinking of varicocele. That's what they're talking about. I put a little star there so you can remember. Anyway, again, surgery can be considered, but um, the patient may be infertile. So we really aren't going to do this for someone who hasn't started their family or they still plan on having uh, more children. Last, testicular torsion. Testicular torsion that involves twisting of the spermatic cord that supplies blood to the testes and the epi epididymitis. I'm so pronouncing that wrong. Epididymitis. 
I hate this. I hate this. But the guys, you see the word, you see what I'm talking about. Anyway, when you think of testicular torsion, I want you to think of medical emergency. Think about it. Anything that cuts off blood supply, and you know what's carried in the blood, oxygen, vitamins, mineral, nutrients that your tissues need. So anything that cuts off blood supply, don't you think that's going to be a medical emergency? Of course it is. So with testicular um, torsion, you have a twisting of the spermatic cord. And so blood supply to the testes and the epididym epididymis is cut off. So this is um, considered an emergency and the patient's going to need surgery right away. We're not going to sit on this. Let's keep going. It says that the patient experiencing experiences not only pain, what type of pain? Look at that adjective, severe pain. If you've been watching any of my videos, you know, I tell you, when you see that word severe, your eyes, your ears, your brain better perk up. Severe pain, sudden, there goes another word that when you see that word sudden, you know, this is important. You know, it's acute. We have to do something right away. Patient's going to have severe, sudden onset of scroll of pain. And they're having it because their tissues are screaming out for oxygen, vitamins, minerals, nutrients that the blood supplies, but that um, blood is being cut off. So the patient's going to have a severe sudden scrotal pain, tenderness, swelling, nausea and vomiting, urinary symptoms, fever. We're going to see um, uh, WBCs or bacteria in the urine are absent because remember, this isn't um, a UTI that the patient's having. With the UTI, the patient's going to have those pains such as, you know, dysuria, um, uh, difficulty voiding, but we are going to see most likely we maybe see RBCs in the urine. We may see WBCs in the urine. We may see nitrites in the urine when it comes to UTI, but that's not the case when it comes to testicular torsion. Take a look. What does it say? WBCs or bacteria in the urine are absent. Why? Because this is not an infection. What's happening is a cutoff of a blood supply. Okay. Let's keep going. It says the pain does not usually subside with rest or elevation of the scrotum. That's not going to happen. That's not going to um, uh, relieve the pain. This patient's going to need emergent surgery. Let's keep going. Take a look. It says in testicular torsion, the chromat um, chromasteric reflex is absent on the side of swelling. So on the side of this dis disorder, when you stroke that inner thigh, right, what's supposed to happen is that cremisteric muscle is supposed to twitch. It's supposed to contract. In this situation, it's absent. You see no cremisteric reflex, okay? That's important to know. Let me go ahead and put a star right there as well because that's important to know. Diagnosis, so we can do a nuclear scan of the testy or adult uh, Doppler ultrasound, and that's going to show that blood flow is limited. It's reduced blood flow to the testicle. Remember, the whole problem is decreased blood flow because of the torsion. So anyway, torsion is an emergency if the blood supply to the affected testicle is not restored in four to six hours. What happens is there's no blood flow. What happens? Tissue starts to die, ischemia. And that leads to what? Necrosis. So unless the torsion resolves by itself, unless it resolves um, uh, spontaneously, emergency performed, uh, emer emergency surgery absolutely must be performed. And guys, this was a quick video, but that's basically your difference between the hydrocele, spermatocele, varicocele, and testicular torsion. Again, guys, thank you for rocking with me through this very short video. I'm not feeling well at all, but I made it happen. Thank you for <laughs> going through this video with me. Please, in the comment section, let me know if you want me to continue on this series on uh, male genital problems. I can make some more lectures. Let me know what you thought about this video. Please don't be too harsh on me in the comment section. Don't forget, I'm now offering Next Generation NCLEX reviews, one-on-one -on -one tutoring sessions. And while you're there, be sure to check out the audio lessons that I have available on my website, nexusnursinginstitute.com. Almost daily, you can find me covering a variety of nursing topics on my other social media platforms, such as TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. So be sure to check me out there. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. You guys will catch me on the next video.